right, so I wanted to do a little demo here, just showing basic templates and entering a drum beat by hand. So we'll go to the basic template here, load the project up. And this will create um, several different instruments, but the main one that we're going to focus on is the, the drum track here. Um, so you can demo the sounds. Um, let's set our divisions to quarter notes. So this is a a bar up top here. Um, so by default it loops between two bars. We've got the first bar and second bar. And so a quarter note is going to be one fourth of a bar. Um, let's find the bass drum here. Okay, so we got the bass drum here. We've got the pencil tool highlighted so that we can start drawing in a uh, bass drum. And so what I'm going to do is just a standard rock beat. So it's going to be a bass drum on beats one and three. And then we'll do snare drum, should be the line above that. So we'll just draw that in on two and four. And we should have a hi-hat sound. And we can just draw across here. And this should be two bars of a standard drum beat. Now we can play that sound and see what it sounds like. So a quick and easy thing that we can do is switch over to eighth notes here. We can erase the quarter note hi-hat. And now that we're in the eighth note mode, we should be able to put eight strikes of the hi-hat in here. Switch over to pencil tool. And now we can draw that across. And let's see what that sounds like. And so then the next step up would be 16th notes. And unfortunately, it looks like uh, for the erase tool, you have to click each one individually. For the pencil tool, you can drag across and it's quicker. But So let's switch over to 16th notes. And switch back to the pencil tool again. And again, just draw right across here. So I won't get into it here, but you could drag uh, these vertical bars up and down to change the volume. But I'll just stick with the equal volume for this tutorial here. And so those are just standard drum beats. They're, uh, again, they're just a bass drum on one and three and a snare drum on two and four. If we want to start jazzing this up a little bit, um, I can go back in here and let's start uh, giving us some space to play around with the bass and snare pattern. We'll stay in the 16th notes. Um, we probably could have done 16 notes for everything, but um, traditionally you kind of use the note that's going to fill in the most of the bar up to up to, up to your quarter notes for a, a drum beat. But um, so let's try. So we'll start off with the um, the bass and snare on one and two again, but we'll let this play and then we'll fill the the beats in. And see if we can fill things in that sound interesting here. Let's get a little like a sort of an upbeat sound here. I'm not sure. Okay, let's drag him over here.
right, so that sounds uh, a little bit more interesting, maybe. Um, there's some other sound effects that come with the like electronic drum sets here. Let's see what else we have. All right, so maybe we can put the, a little bit of that in the beginning of the measures here. Kind of interesting. Let's see. Nope. Okay, I think we could do something with this here as well, towards the back end. That's something really basic, just to kind of show you how you can build up a, a drum beat. And you can zoom out and copy this beat over and over again so you can build up a song that way. But So this is just basic note entry by hand. That's all I want to show for today. So hopefully that was interesting. <laughs>